please don't be shy. This is not a library, so I'm not going to be talking at you. If you have any questions, please feel free um, to ask. Um, I've also I've made it my obligation to make sure that I help other businesses, that I help um, other photographers and other business owners. And I know you're probably sitting here thinking, you know what? I hear you, but it's going to mean that I've got to sacrifice time with my family or I've got to sacrifice more time. And, you know, it's just not as easy as it sounds. But I have to tell you that you are so wrong. So um, as as we continue today, I want you to just take a moment to step into what we're going to be talking about today, because it is really simple steps. Now, often people say to me, but it's so simple. Yes, it is. But nobody does it. And that's the thing. So we are going to map it all out for you today. So if you'll just give me the next 60 minutes, I'm going to lay out the exact formula so that you can create the freedom in your life that you deserve and create a business on your own terms, because that's really what it's about. Um, I'm not going to hold back. I'm very transparent and I'm going to share with you what I do, what I help my clients do. Feel free to hop in and ask questions. Um, like I said, it's terrible to speak to a screen or to speak in a library. This is not a library. And <laughs> I want to make sure that you walk away today crystal clear. You know that like, oh my word, I know exactly what I need to do to get focused and to get away from distractions. So um, there's a couple of people who will benefit from this. If you are brand new to business and you're just starting out, this is a whole new world world for you. And then there are people who's been in business for 10 years, but you still haven't quite cracked the code on how to go um, to grow your business without all the sacrifice and crazy hours, because that's what photographers do. They spend an insane amount of hours taking photos and then another insane amount of hours behind behind some desk editing stuff. And it's really, really, really rough. So I'm going to walk you through the exceptional offer that I have at the end. Um, it's called my Amplify program. It's an accelerator program. Program. If you are just done messing around and you want the step by step process and the system with the support, it's about three months. I'm going to show you exactly what that life this looks like to be coached by me. But in the meantime, I'm going to share with you today the secrets to building a photography business that works even when you don't. Now, before we continue, I'd like us to just get a little bit centered. Just take a moment, turn off all your distractions. Um, we really only have a short time and I want to make sure that you walk away crystal clear and I want you to just bring your intention inward. And I'd like for you to repeat after me. I believe that everything that is for me will come to me. I believe there is more than enough business out there for everyone so I can be wealthy and live the life that I dream of. I attract dream clients who love what I do. And because I deliver exceptional experiences, they can't stop, stop talking about me to their network. So this is our Amplify mantra. I say it every day. I get my, my clients to do the same because our words have creative power. When we declare something, there's a shift that happens around us and that shift affects our thinking and what we believe. And ultimately, that will impact your physical environment. Because you see, before you can have something, you need to be able to speak it. And what you say affects what you do, which will determine what you have. So I spent more than a decade optimizing and growing service-based businesses. Um, in that decade, I earned my Six Sigma Green Belt. I am a Prince2 project manager. I have a business management degree and I'm a customer experience professional. In 2018, I decided I wanted to have a bigger impact. So I decided to get certified as a consciousness coach. And part of that training required me to coach people. Funny how that happens. So I approached my sister-in-law, who, by the way, is a successful photographer, and we started the coaching journey together at first just, you know, working on the mindset stuff because that's what coaches do, right? And one winter's afternoon, we were sitting in the sun in my lounge having a cup of tea like we always do, and she shared with me what was really going on for her. She said to me, Odette, I love what I do. I love working with people. I love capturing moments for them. 
I love being creative, but I just hate working weekends. After a project, I'm chained to my desk for days. At that time, we had calculated that it took her 20 hours per project. And she said to me that she's worried about the future of her business. She said, I want to start a family, but right now I am the business. If I don't shoot and edit, I don't have an income. I'm worried about what will happen when I finally do have kids. Can I have a business? How will that work when there's a baby? That moment, I realized that everything that I had done up until that point was coming together. I found my purpose, helping photographers create businesses through systems and strategies that allows them freedom to choose how they spend their time. And that's what you're going to learn today. I will be sharing with you the three secrets to establish a profitable photography business that works even when you don't. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. What does that really mean? This means that sometimes we get caught up in fear about what other people will say. What if I do back myself and invest in my business, but I don't get anywhere? You will always stay in the same position if you never give it a go. Having the shot and taking the shot is not the same thing. I mean, for me in business, I know that I had to go through many ups and downs and doubts and fears. And I did that so that I know what it takes to elevate myself. If I never tried, if I quit, where would I be today? I would be back in my corporate job because that's what I did for a very long time. And I'd have to leave at 7 a.m. in the morning, drop off my kids in out of school care, and I'd be missing the important moments. So it's the same for you. It's always going to be a no if you don't give it a go. So if you read this, Michael Jordan. Uh, is, okay. Yes. Yes. I'm so sorry. The I don't know if it's my signal or yours, but it keeps <clears throat> getting choppy. Is it? Uh, let's see. Maybe I should move over to the hotspot. Um, oops. Let me change my Wi-Fi quick sticks and see if that helps. Okay. It's just. Is that better? You're on mute. <laughs> Sorry, I think so, but I can't tell. Um, okay, is there let's a... see how it goes. Okay, I'll send a cool. chat if it if it does it again. And awesome. so I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, no, by all means. Like I said, <laughs> this is not a library, right? So <laughs> Michael Jordan missed 9,000 of the shots that he took. He lost 300 games. 26 times he was trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. The secret to his success was that he failed repeatedly and still got back up and take the shot. We have a knowing deep inside. There's a, there's a call deep inside of you right now. So there's a reason why you're on this call. And I believe we created for purpose, on purpose. There's a difference between knowing your purpose and living it. And I actually don't believe that failure is a thing because really that's how we learn. So it's not failure, it's more learning. And that's how Michael learned. That's how he learned to be great. And it's the same for you and me. When we have this knowing that we are meant for more, but we don't know how to get there, I believe that's torture. The number one reason photographers don't reach where they want to in business is because their approach to business is confusing. So how many times have you thought that your business is just complicated? Like it's just, it's hard. How do we make this thing work? It's crazy. It's this Instagram thing. It's that new YouTube video. It's, oh, you need to post five times on Instagram and it's got to be five times during the day. And then you have to add a reel. And after the reel, you need to show other things. It's just crazy. It's just a hustle. But this is the problem. We make it hard and complicated for ourselves. And it's really not your fault. You're either learning from someone else or you're watching from the outside what other people are doing. So ultimately, I see really talented photographers hustling 
from one project to the next, signing up to booking apps that take 60% of the fee, booking themselves out by the hour, but they never get to the point of creating consistent, predictable income. So if you make your budget this month, that's cool. Next month, you've got to hustle again to make the budget. So I see that you have 50% of the equation sorted. You have the skills to capture and produce amazing images and videos for your clients so you can deliver on your promise. The other half of the equation is the business that's wrapped around those skills. You know what I mean? It's the ability to communicate. It's the ability to attract the right type of clients. It's the ability to build meaningful and profitable relationships with them and shift from working as the doer in your business to working on your business and investing in a team because you cannot scale by yourself. You only have a limited number of hours in a day and that's it. So you can do what you can do, but nothing more. So we need both sides of the equation working together. And I see a lot of tremendously talented photographers. They just don't have the business skills, which then plays out as they either struggle to get clients or they get clients, but they're not the right ones. You know, those ones that haggle you on price, like it's it's $100 an hour and they go, well, you know, actually I was thinking like 75 or they get clients, but they never see them again. So you do one shoot, but you never hear from that client again. There's one interaction. There's no real longe longevity. And that's the side that I help with. It's the side that we'll be breaking down today. So I presume that you have the skills to produce and deliver to your clients. So we're going to park that. I'm going to talk you through the business skills, the other half of the equation that you need to focus on if you want to create a highly profitable photography business. Does that make sense? Are you ready for this? Cool. Let's get into yes. it. <laughs> so I'd love for you to meet Vinny. Vinny loves helping brands tell their stories so that they can connect with their clients. Before we started working together, Vinny used an app to get clients. This particular booking app was having customers coming in fast and furious, but there was a catch. He was booked out all the time, but 60% of his fee he had to pay to the app as a commission to find these clients. So to add insult to injury, Vinny was only charging $100 an hour, so there was no consideration for the time spent editing. If he was spending an hour taking photos, that's what he was getting paid for. The editing was technically being done for free. Vinny joined our Amplify program and we implemented the three secrets that I'm going to share with you today. He signed his first six month contract while on the program. He has since doubled his revenue. He has not only transformed his business, but he's transformed his life. Now, it's not unique to Vinny. If he can do it, so can you. Are you ready to find out how? Cool. So Vinny has been running a photography business for three years before we met, so he's not new to the industry. He is really, really talented at what he does. The thing is, business is a skill that we need to learn. We aren't born with this skill. It's not like you're born to just walk. That doesn't happen. We all want freedom. That's why we started our own businesses. But we must first learn the skill to achieve that freedom. So. What is the first secret? I'm so glad you asked. The number one secret is you must have a scalable offer. So what is it that you are selling? If you've done a photography qualification, they would have taught you how to take photos, how to use lighting, how to edit images and videos. Unfortunately, they didn't teach you how to package up those skills and present it to a client. So what I see many photographers do is they offer free shoots when they don't have any paying clients. They charge themselves out by the hour. They run promo days. You know those, hey, it's Mother's Day weekend. We've got five 45-minute slots available at $300 with six images. Yeah, it's crazy. And then you spend the next week editing your butt off. Or... Some of them book really big events, so they'll book a chamber event or they book a wedding and it seems like it's so lucrative because it's huge amounts. It's like 
$10,000 for the event, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. But when you break down the cost of equipment and the hours spent afterwards and this hours spent on the day, they're really just making ends meet if they are even breaking even. So when you do when you do all of these things, you're creating a glass ceiling for yourself. So when I was in corporate, we used to talk about the glass ceiling all the time. The glass ceiling is your limit. You can't pass it. You can't fabricate more hours in a day. If you're charging $100 an hour, you can never earn more than $800 for an eight hour day. That's it, you can't surpass that. Now these numbers can change because you can change your pricing, but you will still have a limit. You can only work within the confines of what's naturally possible. And I want you to realize that trading time for money is not a sustainable business model. The other thing I see is that when we look around at what everyone else is doing, they start copying what everyone else is doing. And what happens is it becomes the blind leading the blind. That's kind of how we got to this, hey, this Mother's Day special, $300, blah, 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 because we see someone else doing it. The problem is if they're doing it wrong, you're just copying the wrong thing and you're still stuck in that same rut. Your life has not transformed. Your business has not transformed. So here's where, what I get my clients to do. The key to creating a scalable offer, a scalable offer means that you can take on as many clients as you want without impacting the quality of your service or burning yourself out. So what we do is we package up your skills and we present them in a high value relationship based way. So you move away from the shoot and burn culture and you jump onto the connect and earn train. Since you're not constantly on the hunt for new leads or new clients, you really get to build a relationship with your existing clients and focus on improving the experience. So in addition to doing that, you increase your customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value is a very powerful tool to have in business. It's a measure of the average customer's revenue generated over your entire relationship with them. So that means a higher customer lifetime value means that you need less clients. If your initial client came to you once, let's say their lifetime value was $100 because they came to you once and it was a one hour shoot. If you build a relationship with them, that $100 lifetime value could multiply and it can become 1,000 or 2,000 depending on how long they stay with you. So you can focus on delivering exceptional experiences and adding value through your products and the problems that you solve for your clients. Does that make sense? Do you feel like, like it's, it's, we're done with the chaos. It's time for us to just, you know, who's up? Just breathe. We can do this. Cool. And all of that starts with a scalable offer. A scalable offer means that you have endless possibilities. It means that you have time to do the things that you love. It means that you've got freedom. It means that you choose how you spend your time and you're not chained to a desk. So the next thing is that there is a secret to this. And the secret is that you must be able to deliver on this offer. So again, if you're not able to deliver on your promise, then this offer is not going to work. You need to marry both of those things together. The second thing that you need is meaningful relationship. A typical business model for a photographer is the shoot and burn. Most photographers do not have relationships with their clients. They do one shoot, they deliver the photos, sometimes they deliver products, and then they don't see their clients again. I booked a family shoot late last year with a new photographer. Um, to say that the thing was a disaster is probably the biggest understatement ever. Instead of getting to know my family and me, the photographer acted like a robot during the shoot. Afterwards, we had terrible interactions. My youngest daughter loves photos, but it has to be on her terms. So the start of any photo shoot, any family, family shoot is just, it's chaos. And this was no difference. Instead of finding a way to warm up to us, the photographer just soldiered on. It was just like, let's do the do we need to get through this. There was no attempt to get to know us. 
the promises that they had made before the shoot about wardrobe, about the experience, about getting to know us, it was going to be a fabulous day. None of that happened. None of it happened. Needless to say, I'm not using that photographer again. It was just shoot and burn of epic proportions. So maybe you're sitting here and you're saying, well, you know, I keep my promises to my clients. My clients are happy when they're done with me. That's fantastic. But do they come back? For example, if you are in the maternity shoot business, maybe you include a newborn shoot, but that sums it up. The big day comes if it's, if it's a wedding. You go to the wedding, you take the photos, you edit for days, you send them the photos. Maybe you give them some products afterwards, but that's it. You don't hear from them again. If you are a headshot photographer and you're doing branding photographer, you do the branding and you don't see those clients again. There's no repeat business. Meaningful relationships imply that you have an audience. People who love what you do and they buy from you often. So I often see photographers giving away free shoots, either to help with content marketing or they give away these gift cards in little hampers if there's a hamper going around the community. Unfortunately, these things don't produce long-term sustainable relationships. Some photographers do it, join Facebook groups and then they spam everyone. Hey, I've got this promotional day coming up by my thing. Like, seriously, that takes a lot of energy and you burn a lot of relationships. The hustle culture really only looks fabulous on Instagram. Nobody really wants to live like that. The number one thing photographers that come work with us say they want is freedom. They don't want to work 8, 10, 16 hours a day. They want time for themselves and they want time for their loved ones. They want to make more money and work less hours. So we do things differently. For me, it's about building long-term relationships where you are a trusted provider that becomes a standing calendar invite. When you connect with your clients and you build relationships with them, you create sustainable, predictable revenue. When you deliver a memorable experience, your clients become raving fans who keep coming back and they tell their network about you. So they essentially become part of your marketing system for free. How awesome is that? The third secret to building a photography business that works when you don't is you don't build a business, you build people, and people build your business. Zig Ziglar had it exactly right. The third secret to building a photography business that works even when you don't is building a team. But there is a catch. You must be able to systemize so that you can scale, which means that you are then able to outsource and hire and build a team. So you need to document as much as you can of your, your, your stuff that you do, your editing, the way that you show up, the way that you deal with your clients so that you can put it in a system or in a process in as much detail as you can. Because documentation of systems and processes is vital if you were going to outsource anything. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably going, uh, no, I'm, I'm busy. I don't have time for this. So I get that. We're all busy because we're all busy with our clients. We're all busy delivering. So here's a pro tip. Have a notepad next to you and write down the steps that you follow on all the tasks that you perform. It's important so that the intellectual property in your business doesn't walk out the door when one of your new people walk out. Or if you do want to scale your team, if you want to grow your business, you need to be able to replicate yourself into someone else. And you can only do that if you've documented the processes, the procedures, the way that you show up so that you can transfer the knowledge from one person to many. If you want more freedom as a business owner, you need to get how you do things out of your head and into a process or into a system that's well documented so that you can scale and grow your business. Now, if you want to create more freedom in your business, there's a very important mental shift that you have to do. If you're like me and you're an absolute control freak in your business, you may feel like nobody can do your stuff the way that you do it. So here's the big idea. Let it go. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. 
to let other people do things and trust that they're going to do the right thing. Remember, we're going to document it. But if you are able to let her go, then your team members are going to rock your world. Not everyone is going to be able to do the tasks in your business exactly like you do. And that needs to be okay because you must be able to let things go. You must be able to trust people. You have to be able to open up your hands and let things go so that you can also receive. So picture this, when you are letting go of something, you are opening up your hands, but you are also positioning yourself so that you can posture to receive and that's vital so the truth here is i don't do the work you do the work i show you the strategies my clients who've created incredible businesses are amazing students sure you can try and figure it out yourself my question is why would you want to i'm all about working smart not hard my clients don't come to me and say I want to grow a six figure business. I don't want to invest in anything. Business takes investment, not only in skills, but also in systems. And unless you already have many clients and you're hitting decent income, the investment in learning the skills to grow your business will come from external. So whether you are, your investment comes from savings or from a job or a credit card or a mortgage, you need to invest in your business. But when you invest in your business, you will always get a return. So this means that this mindset nonsense of, I have to wait for my business to make money before I invest in my business and then learn how to make money kind of thing. is It's kind of like saying, before I invest in my photography skills and qualification, I need to get a job as a photographer and make money and then pay for my qualification. It's like booking your first shoot before you've got a camera. It's just backwards. So for our clients, they are great students and that's why they grow their business. Now, I know some people sit on these calls and they think, well, I already know it all, which will keep you stuck in ego. Ego is something that I was in for many, many years. I thought I could do it myself. And when you don't open yourself up to getting help, if you're not vulnerable to say, I just, I don't know, or I need help. If you can't put yourself in that position, then you're going to do things the long way. You're going to do things the hard way. That's just, it's just not great. But when you are vulnerable enough to say, I don't know, then incredible things happen in your business. If you look around you and you are the most intelligent person in the room and the people around you in proximity around you, you know the most about business and you get the best results, it's probably time for you to change your room. And even if it's not me, I want you to be successful regardless. So my Amplify method works. All of the businesses before that are asking for help, they get the results because they ask for help, they take the advice and then they implement the systems. If you know deep down that you are meant for more, that you are worthy to receive, that you have an endless flow. If you're willing to let go of perfectionism and you're ready to be seen, the world will receive you with open arms because building a complicated business is a choice. Creating a simple business is also a choice. So the question now is, what are you going to do about it? So, are you getting value from this? Is this like, have you got an inspiration? Is there a spark that's gone off for you that you go, mm, yes. Yeah. Awesome. So that's fantastic. Fantastic. So implementing the Amplify strategy. So I'm going to share with you our Amplify strategy. Um, you can use the strategy and the templates to craft amazing offers, to just copy and paste. What about having me hold space and standing side by side with you over the next few months as you grow your business? So this is for you if you're ready to let go of the fear, the, you know, the what if, to just believe in your dreams and trusting your, yourself. Shifting away from 
blaming others and taking 100% responsibility of your life and your business. And this is for you if you are ready to move away from being distracted by all of these things, all of these shiny little objects and winging it because I hear that a lot. Oh, gee, Odette, I was just winging it. I didn't know. To being focused and committed and consistent. And this is for you if you are ready to let go of the mindset of, I just don't have the resources right now to becoming resourceful, making it happen for you and creating the life and business that you want. And the last one here is so important. Letting go of seeking approval from other people, whether it's your family, whether it's a partner, whether it's a boss, to really backing yourself and making your own decisions. So if you're ready to embody and really transform to create everything that your heart desires, I, I just I love permission based marketing. And if you'll give me permission, I will share with you over the next 10 minutes, talk you through exactly what we do at the Amplify system. So um, the offer with the bonuses will only be available until Sunday. The bonuses will fall away after Sunday. So the Amplify Your Business program um, is really what we're going to talk about over the next 10 minutes. But before we do, I want to ask you, what will your business look like three months from now? I want you to think about what is it going to be three months from now? Are you going to sit in the same position with the same complaints and the same frustrations? Or are you going to take action and do what needs to be done so that you can have the business and life that you want? Experiences has taught us that we don't work with everyone. So there is nothing to buy on this call. We have an application process that all of our clients go through to make sure that we are a great fit, that we can help them and deliver great results because your success is our success and we need to make sure that you're a good fit. So you can pack away your Amex. We don't need them right now. Inside the Amplify program, it's a 90 day program. We will be defining your perfect client. We will package your skills into an irresistible offer and we will create your magic messaging. Because when you are speaking to everybody, you're speaking to nobody. One of the key things to running a successful business is creating a revenue plan that guides your way. How often have you woken up and you've gone, okay, I need to make money this month. I've got bills to pay. How am I going to do it? The revenue plan is going to help you focus your attention on the things that turn the dial in your business. None of this. I've got 20 million things that needs my attention. No, we've got five things that we need to do. We will share with you sales strategies that meet every client where they're at so that you can meet the whole spectrum who wants to work with you. And then the fortune is in the follow up. Mindset mastery is important. You cannot run a successful business if you do not have the mindset to support it. So we will show you how to get your psychology to work in your favor to attract the life and the results that you want with less effort. Included in this is weekly life coaching session. So we will have coaching on the offer because quite often we create an offer and there needs to be tweaking. So that's where the live coaching comes in. We do live coaching on offers. We do live sales coaching and we do fortnightly mindset sessions. And I'm sure, I'm sure that you've heard that you are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with. So if you hang around chickens, you will stay a chicken. But if you hang around eagles, you will learn to soar like eagles. So the community is an exclusive group of Amplify clients who are ready to amplify their business and their lives. So here we cheer each other on. We all need a cheerleader. And quite frankly, if you're like me, you've got crazy dreams. And those people around you, most people won't have the same dreams. They'll think you're crazy. We need crazy people like us to lift us up. In this group, you will have your questions answered. You get to brainstorm with like-minded people. And you get to be, to be supported by a community that really has your back. You get to be inspired to fulfill your purpose and to live on purpose. The next bonus is access to the 10K program. We've got a 10K training program that we run. It's a sprint 
We normally charge $2,200 for it, but we make it available in our Amplify team um, as part of one of the bonuses. And finally, you will have private coaching sessions with me to review your offer, to brainstorm. You can discuss the pricing strategies because pricing is really a perception thing. If you're charging $100 an hour, people think, oh, that's cheap. Okay, nice. We don't want that. And also create an offer that suits your goals and your business because the reality is it's not a one size fits all. We all have different dreams and different businesses, and therefore we need to um, approach it differently. So these bonuses will expire on Sunday, the 29th of May at midnight. Um, and if you are, if you want to take the next step, here's how we are going to do it. So just we have the Amplify Your Business curriculum. We have two live coaching sessions a week for three months, exclusive access to the Amplify support group. We've got the 10K training, and then we've got the private coaching to review your offer, your pricing, and your messaging. So we will have a connection call. First, you need to book the call. So the way that you will do it is you will click on the link and you will book the call. Once you've booked the call, we are just going to have a conversation to see if we're a fit, to understand whether or not we can help you because we can't help everybody. And like I said, your success is our success. So if you want to book the call, you can click on the screen. The booking link will come up. You select a time that works for you. Once we've both decided that this could actually work and we could work together, then we will have a separate conversation where we will take you through the strategies of getting your business on track of what it looks like for you and what we've got available. Maybe it's not a real, not a great fit. Maybe it's not right now. And that's okay. If that's the case, then we can recommend some free resources or we can recommend you to someone who can help you. So if you if you want to have a conversation, book your call and we'll have a conversation to see whether or not we're a fit. So if you have a dream and a vision of how you want to live your life, whether you have quick success or you've had slow success, but you really feel that you're ready to ramp it up, and there's a deeper calling inside of you, I want to just say, go for it. Whether it's me, whether it's somebody else that you feel aligned to, right now is the key. Don't wait. There's so many times that we think, I'm going to wait, just, I'm going to wait until next week. I'm going to wait until next month, but nothing changes. Unless you change something, your life will be exactly the same a month from now. So I want you to just back yourself. Trust your gut. You won't know unless you give it a go. And remember, you miss 100% of the shots that you won't take. So give it a crack. Set yourself up to have what you want. So that's my wish for you. So if you want to book a call, you're welcome to do so. That's the end of today's masterclass. I hope that you've received value. I hope that you are inspired to go take action in your business. Yes, thank you. I, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> My computer is doing a large export, so I had to do this on my phone, okay. and it didn't let me click on the link. Let me send you the link. Um, do this. I'm going to pop it in the chat. Perfect. If you can click on it now. Alternatively. Is it working? Um, yes. Okay. Let me go back to you. Yes, it's on my browser now. Fantastic. So book a call. Let's have a conversation. I mean, we just won't know unless we have a chat. Sure. Fantastic. It was lovely Thank having you. you here. Have, yes. an awesome, have an awesome evening. Stay warm. Brr. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not too uh, chilly. It's just wet. Uh, yeah. And drabby. <laughs> yeah. Too much of that can be quite depressing. It yes. I can't wait till Sunday when it's supposed to be sunny. <laughs> oh, our sun is only coming next week Wednesday. We still have um, another days. <laughs> well, good luck to you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it was lovely meeting you, Sarah. Have a fabulous evening, and I'll chat to you soon. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.